Hi boys and girls, Miss Sharon here. Today we're going to learn how to make fireworks in a jar. In order to make fireworks in a jar, you need a glass jar filled almost to the top with water. You need to make sure you leave enough space in the jar to be able to add the remaining mixture to the top. You need a fork for mixing. You need a clear bowl or jar for adding the oil and the food coloring. You need food coloring. You need a measuring cup or a tablespoon measuring spoon. And you need oil. First, you'll add the four tablespoons of oil to the bowl or cup. Next, you'll add the food coloring to the oil. You'll make a couple of drops of each color, food coloring, into the oil. If you watch, you'll closely notice that the food coloring sinks to the bottom. The reason this happens is because food coloring is basically water with dye in it. When you add water to oil, they don't mix. One will sit on top of the other. Oil will sit on top of water. This is because oil is more dense than water. Next, you'll want to take a fork and mix this around to get the food coloring bubbles to kind of have broken up and look smaller. Once you're done that, you'll then take this food coloring mixture with the oil and you'll pour it on top of the water in the jar. You'll notice that it'll look like it's getting mixed up and then everything will come back to the dye top. in it. When you add water to oil, they don't mix. One will sit on top of the other. Oil will sit on top of water. This is because oil is more dense than water. Next, you'll want to take a fork and mix this around to get the food coloring bubbles to kind of have broken up and look smaller. Once you're done that, you'll then take this food coloring mixture with the oil and you'll pour it on top of the water in the jar. You'll notice that it'll look like it's getting mixed up and then everything will come back to the top. Because again, the oil is more dense than the water. If you watch and wait patiently, you'll notice that over time, the water will begin to pull the food coloring into the water mixture, which will then cause the fireworks. Let's just give it a few more minutes. you'll see as you let it sit for a little while, the water begins to burst and you begin to see the fireworks form in the jar. You need to wait a few minutes and eventually all the food coloring will drop, making the firework illusions in the jar. Thank you for participating in this meeting. Can't wait to see all of your firework experiments.